Step one, create the model logic. This step requires only Excel tools, not top rank. You must first develop the logic of the model in the usual way using typical Excel formulas. This has already been done for you in the bookshelf model, and you can review the Excel formulas. This model is then a starting point for the top rank analysis. The values you are interested in analyzing, your bottom lines, will become the output cells in top rank. The values that affect the outputs and that you want to perform what-if analysis on will become input cells in top rank. In this model, you are projecting the profit from the sale of bookshelves over the next six years. All of the inputs, those in the cells with blue and green font, affect the bottom line profit in row 30. The formulas in rows 23 to 28 use the inputs in blue and green font to project unit costs, unit revenues, and demands, and these lead directly to the projected profit in row 30. The goal is to discover which of the input variables have the greatest effects on the projected profit so that the company can make strategic decisions to improve performance. This top rank analysis might also be a precursor to further analysis with at risk the risk analysis tool that uses Monte Carlo simulation. In at risk, you could add probability distributions to the most important input cells identified by top rank and then simulate the probabilities of different projected profit scenarios occurring. Some of the inputs, those in blue font, are arguably fixed and the company has no interest in performing what if analysis on them. The others, those in green, are probably guesstimates of values that might change. So these are a primary interest for what-if analysis. The point is that your model will typically have some inputs that you want to vary and others that you have no interest in varying. As explained in step five of this tutorial, top rank provides this flexibility. Now it's your turn. Take a few minutes to look at the formulas in rows 23 to 28 and 30 to make sure you understand the logic of the model. It is all correct, so you don't need to make any changes at this point. A good way to understand how inputs lead to outputs is to use the formula auditing tools on Excel's formulas ribbon. Select any input cell, such as cell C10, and click the Trace Dependence button to see formulas that this cell affects directly. Then click this button one or more times to see all of the cell's direct and indirect dependence. 